Hey moms and welcome back to the 12 crafts of Momously Me. In today's crafting video we are going to be making ornaments that you can make with your kids. number five through eight and they are kid friendly so if you want to do them with your children if you have older kids that like to make things um, these are great crafts for them to do um, they are all ornaments too so the first one we're going to do today is a snow globe ornament these came from the Dollar Tree by the way a lot of our crafts came from the Dollar Tree balling on a budget I'm saying like the Dollar Tree is awesome. So we're gonna customize ours a little bit, but um, you can do these however you want to. Uh, they have some other little like, I actually have some. The, oh, the open ones? Uh, well, they, they have the open ones, but the Dollar Tree has two versions of these. They have bigger ones as well, but they're not ornaments. They just are snow globes that sit on the tabletop. Right. Um, but you could get like little um, presents, little drums, little um, things like, to go in them. Yeah, Christmas toys that you can get in like the craft section. So uh, these just open up like jars. We are not putting water in them. You can, you can do a mixture of glycerin and water. We're not doing water. Don't want to take that chance. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to take our jars, we're going to use our glue guns, and I've got a little rubber ducky. You have an elephant for our little ones because mm -hmm. um, they're just special to us and remind them of them. So we're going to hot glue our ornaments in the lid and then we're going to put some snow in there. Let's do it. I forgot it was going to be that simple. Yeah, this one is really easy. Um, so, you know, you don't have to use hot glue, by the way. You could just use like Mod Podge, or um, apparently I need to push my stick in there. Oh, that's some glue. Uh, or if you want to use like a different type of glue that's that your children can use. To do that. Our children are asleep, so we're using hot glue. We're just gonna put that. Oh. I'm a little worried his trunk isn't going to fit. Did you test it? Put it in sideways and it should fit. Yeah, oh, okay. Just fits. Okay. All right. <clears throat> a little concerned. <laughs> I was like, uh, he's not going to fit. All right. I'm going to try to open like a small hole. We have the messy snow. She just says, she says it like that because that's the snow that I wanted. I don't want those crappy little beads. You can you can do whatever snow that makes your heart happy. Um, apparently, shredded snow makes our hearts happy. Uh, so we're gonna put some of that in here. You could put glitter in it if you want. This stuff's so messy. Look, You're such a crybaby. I like to craft. I don't like to craft messy. Crafting is messy. Um, let me see. I think I have some glitter in here too. Yep. Cutting bigger holes in my stuff. Well, yeah, because nothing's coming out. I'm going to add a little bit of white glitter to mine as well. I think I may have put a little bit too much snow in mine. How much did you it put? might drown the duck. Well, mine's taller, 
So that's I'd, true. That'd probably be okay. Here, you want a little bit more in yours? Sure. I might do some of the shinies okay. too. You want white? Yeah, because I feel like the other ones are going to be weird. Yeah. All right. Good. Yep. Only spilled one. All right. You suck. All right. So then we're going to put our lid onto Ooh, our mine's jar. mine's still warm. Is it? <laughs> yeah. It should be okay. If he falls off, I'm going to be mad. Just kind of. Hold him down. <laughs> I got to put him in at an angle anyway. Yeah. Now flip him over. You're giving me a lot of anxiety staring at me like that. No, you're good. There we go. All right. Ready? <laughs> That's cute. It's silly, but I like it. I have too much snow. Good news. You can open it and take some out. <laughs> that is the good news. Anyway, these are really cute. All right, oh, I'm just going to dump it down on the table. It'll be okay, I guess. Don't make a mess. Look. Too much snow in yours, too? Like mm. you just dumped all the sparklies out. No, there's a bunch of sparklies in there. All right. You should be passing them out like Oprah. You get sparklies. You get sparklies. <laughs> there we go. That's better. There we go. These are our snow globe ornaments. Boom. Craft number five, done. Okay. All right. So next, we're doing, we need, oh, this. Um, oh, yes. yeah, so the next one that we're doing is going to be um, popsicle sticks trees. Mm-hmm. They're Christmas trees that, I got some glue there, apparently. Oh, yeah. Ooh, let's not drink. So. Not uh, drink the hot glue. We're going to take a, yeah, so we took some popsicle sticks and cut them up into various sizes to put them together on another popsicle stick, and it's going to make a tree. And then we're going to paint them and decorate them. Yep. Yep. So, we'll, um, Oof. we'll post the directions below uh, with a link so that you can see all of that, but it, it is as simple as she just said. So, we have all different kinds of little... We have little, these are like the little styrofoamy stickers. You can use those as ornaments. Um, we have sequins to use as ornaments. We also have these cute little bows. So, yeah. All right. In case you're wondering, start with the smallest piece at the very top and then go down. You'll have a little bit of stick left over. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that we have like the base of your tree. And we're also going to take ribbon and put them on the back so they can hang. hang. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Okay. So we have our painted trees. We're going to lay these off to the side and let them dry before we decorate. All right, so those are drying. So our next craft that we're going to do are snowmen tea lights, or women. Um, so we got these little tea lights from Hobby Lobby. These snowmen are going to have, snow people are going to have big, big noses. Um, <laughs> Those are those really crooked carrots you get from the grocery store, the ones that are like this. Yeah, maybe like Olaf a little, maybe, uh, if that's your jam. Um, so what we're going to do with these is we're going to make them into faces. Uh, with We have, these are their heads. And then we've got little poof balls. We're going to make earmuffs for some. We're going to make little scarves with our ribbon. By the way, pro tip. Pro tip. Um, we're keeping everything in a basket while we're doing this. So like the messy snow, the glitter, putting everything back in the basket while we're not using it to try to keep it contained. If you'd seen all the stuff that got cut out of this video, you would laugh at the word pro. Okay, so we're putting little scarves on the bottom. We've attached our hats and our eyes and our everything. So we're putting their little scarves on. So what we're doing is, so the back of them have little battery trays and switches. Um, so we're trying to avoid that, obviously. So what we're doing is we've cut our length of ribbon. It's probably like five inches or something like that. Um, so we're taking our hot glue gun and we're turning it over. And then in the very center on the back, near the bottom, avoiding the parts you have to open, of course, 
putting like a small ish bead of hot glue. It's fine if it goes on the bottom. Okay, like that. Hopefully you can see it. And then laying the ribbon out on the table, taking this and I'm putting it in the center of the ribbon. So then that attaches the ribbon to the back. So we can then take the ribbon, put a little dot of glue on the very front, like near the edge, to attach our first piece of ribbon around. I like a little angle there. And then we're putting the glue on top of that ribbon to pull the last piece over. There we go. And there's our little scarves. So the last step with our snowmen is that we are gonna make them ornaments. So we just have some really thin red ribbon. Um, we've cut this length. You'll write that in the instructions that we post for you. And then I'm just tying a knot in the bottom. And Angel is hot gluing them to the back of the ornament uh, behind their little headbands and hats. Our snow, little snowmen ornaments. These are super cute. They are super cute. Super cute. Kind of cuter than I thought they were going to be. Yeah, they are. If I'm honest. Well, they looked, I think some of the, in our inspiration picture we looked at, they looked a little simple to me. And I think we made them a little more festive, perhaps. Yep. All right. <clears throat> so that is craft number seven. seven. Craft number eight is um, making cupcake trees. Mm -hmm. Out of cut cupcake papers. Yes. So we'll do that one, and then we'll come back and we'll finish craft number six. Yep. So we've got tiny cupcake uh, papers. liners, papers, and then we've got two regular size ones. I got uh, different designs to separate the layers. And you don't have to put these on. Um, do you want to put a star on the top? Sure. Oh, I forgot about the stars. Yeah. Are they in there? Somewhere? They were in here. Okay. They probably still are then. There they are. Gold stars. Um, I'm going to put this down here, actually. Okay. Because this is mostly going to have it on the table. Um, I got different designs because they're going to be different layers of the tree. So, but these are pretty easy. You take the cupcake liners. Uh, which one do you want to use for the bottom layer? That one? Yep. One for you. We have plenty for cupcakes. <laughs> One for you, one for me. There's so many of these tiny ones. They're cute. They're, ooh, I messed that one up. Thank God there's so many. <laughs> <laughs> one for you, one for me. Okay. Um, there's like a hundred of these in here. These came from the Dollar Tree as well, by the way. Oh, you're going to start a good one. Mm -hmm. So you want to take your cupcake uh, liners and you want to fold them. Fold them in half. And then I'm going to do the top, the top one. Well, let's just fold all of them in half first. We're going to take the middle one kind of 
kind of depends on how you want to, how big you want them. I think if we fold the middle one in thirds, and then fold the bottom one in half. I fold it in thirds like a t-shirt. Retail style. Cut. And then I think the top one we can just fold in half and half and then in half again. So the bottom one in half and then in half again. The middle one. I guess we could just fold it in half again. That seems too big. Too small? Too big. You just curl it the side in a little bit like this. Yeah. That's all. And then... It's not quite folding it all the way again. It's like this and like this. Yeah. And then we're going to put them on popsicle sticks. You don't have to put them on popsicle sticks, but we... Yeah, the, the original idea is just to do them on their own, but... Yeah. I think they'll last longer on popsicle sticks, and then it'll be easier to put the ribbon on them, too, though. So just pick which side you want to be on the front. Lay them out on your stick first so you can decide where you want them. I'm going to leave a little on the bottom for trunk. Sure. I like it. Then we're going to put a little star on there. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> These are pretty easy. Yeah, quick. I mean, and you can decide how full you want your tree to be. Yeah. I did a very unproportioned tree. I did too. I <laughs> I don't think I put my little... I didn't pull it out far enough. It's like, but it's fine. It's still cute. It is still cute. Did you do ribbon already? I know you're doing that right now. It's already glued. I mean, I guess you could pull out a little bit if you wanted to. It's okay. I think I put my top too high is what it was. Yeah. But, all right. Tie a ribbon in the knot. Maybe. Should have done these when I was doing the other ones. I forgot. It's okay. You know what? We're going to need these for the other trees, too. So, cupcake Christmas trees. Craft number eight. So. Where'd all our decorations go? I'm getting them. I'm bringing them back. I'm bringing they were in the way. All right. So we've got all kinds of things. We've got fuzzy balls. We've got these little sticky things, bows, sequins. What you want to do? I'm going to do the sequins. I'm going to do this and the little balls that I'm going to have to dig for. But yeah. That's okay. Did you already do the ribbons for them? No, I'm about to cut those now. So you just <clears throat> decorate whatever you your do. tree. Whatever you want to do to decorate it. And then... You tie the knot and put the hanging ribbon on the back. All right. Here is our finished craft number six. Six. All right. Boom. Those are super cute. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, agree. We're probably a little extra. <laughs> Just a little bit. With some though. of our decorations. But I mean, they can be as fancy or as simple as you want them to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, we hope you enjoyed these. Um, make sure you check our uh, Pinterest page where we're going to put the, uh, the directions for these crafts so you can follow along at home. And uh, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Like this video. Um, check us out on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Mamasly Me. Good boy. <clears throat> I was getting to the giveaway. Okay, I'll just make sure you remembered. I remember. It's been a long night. It has been, but 
Also, you need a uh, bougie tree. <laughs> Look, <laughs> it catches the light, okay? Um, make sure you're following us on social media because that's where we're going to post the winners of our giveaways, which, uh, as a reminder, I can't reach them, is these really cute. <laughs> Let me grab one. <laughs> the 12 Days of Socks. Uh, there are three different ones, so there are three different giveaways. We'll be doing one, uh, I guess, tomorrow, the day after this video comes out. We'll announce a winner for one of our three giveaways. And that's all we have for you today. We will see you in the next one. Bye, moms.